Come on, I really just love right, you. Alright, let's go! Get it! Get it! Get it! Get it! Oh, 
into its home uninvited. I'm concerned for Ion's safety. Let's move on. Yeah, yeah, we were rescuing Ion. That's the thing we were doing. Okay. I am bad at falling orders. That's why I prefer to get them out. the entire life of the planet. It's the score written on the seventh phone stone. The seventh phone stone? The one we saw in the planet's core? Yes, the planet's score written there can only be read by the phone master. By Ion. It places a tremendous burden on the reader. Yeah, reading sucks. Burden? He's so weak in the first place. Is he okay doing that? Of course he isn't. Ion... Of course he isn't. Ion... Damn it. Yeah, that's a bit of a problem.
swings down. You know, I worked in construction. I can tell every day that Which I didn't will really ultimately do much lead to the downfall of Aldrin. ND 2019. The forces of Kimlaska Landvoldir shall march northward through the Rubnica Plains. Year 2019. I believe that's referring to the Kamikov. After inflicting atrocities upon the villages in their wake, the army shall surround the fortress capital. January Within a fortnight, the city shall fall. The Kimlaskan army will stain the Malku throne with the blood of its last emperor. The truckening. Guys, it's all true. Their howls of victory shall resound throughout the land. ND 2020. A mountain of corpses shall bury the fortress capital. Death and disease shall envelop the city. The plague born thence shall become a new poison unto humanity, killing all within its spread shall mark the true end of Malkuth. Kimlaska shall enjoy decades of prosperity as the plague of Malkuth grows. Ultimately, the plague will be brought into the Kimlaskan kingdom by a single man. That would be Winnie the Pooh. You! You! Ha! <laughs> they saying Luke caused the plague? Stop it, Ion! You have to stop! The light of the sacred flame shall approach a Kimlaskan city of phone machines, seeking a way to purify the taint. Kimlaskan city, wouldn't that be... Fuck, was it Peterburg? Or is that the snowy city? The science city. When we keep there, getting lost. Salvation shall be found through the use of a forbidden power. Ion, are you okay? Luke, that was my reading of the score for you. A single path among your many possible futures. I know you don't depend on others, but this was the only way I could help you. Shut up! You've helped us out a million times! And you'll keep helping! Luke, don't look at me like that. There are plenty of replacements for me. No, Ion, you're our trappy priest boy. How can you say that? Those other replicas don't know me at all! You're the only Ion that went to the Cheagle Woods with me! Tear, come closer. I will uh, uh, take the miasma from your body into my own. Oh, Jesus. But, Phone Master, oh, you'll... Oh, Jesus, he's being Jesus. I told you before, there's only one way to save you. The seventh phonons are drawn to one another. As my own seventh phonons dissipate, so will your contaminated ones. Ion! Don't you see? This way. Tear is... safe. Sacrifice is the only true selflessness there is. Ion! You don't have to... watch over me... anymore, Annis. Yeah, he felt like he was a burden to everyone. I mean, it was a burden to me. I don't like having non-combatants in my party. I'm so sorry, that's Ion! A, that's a safety I, concern, though. I... Thank you... for everything. My most cherished. Ion! Huh. The best replica of the bunch. And even he couldn't read the score properly. Now the thing about normally in cutscenes when someone dies they do fade out like enemies do when you kill them in battle, right? But here it's actually an explanation for why he fades. <laughs> score, score, yes, score! Is that the only thing you can think of? The score isn't worth a damn! Preposterous fool! The score is crucial to mankind's continued survival! And look how far falling it had and look where falling it has gotten us. Mankind can get by just fine without it! It promises prosperity for all. What possible reason could we have to ignore it? Because that prosperity requires others to suffer? I am a watcher. I have been charged with protecting and guiding humanity. 
by making it disappear up its own asshole. I swear I will use these replicas to bring about war as foretold in Yulia's score. <laughs> Dude, you just said you're trying to protect humanity. Now you're a warmonger. Therein lies our only path to salvation. Ugh. Integrity, dude, not morals. Figure this out. What should we do? These are civilians. Fighting them would be far too... Those people won't harm you unless someone directs them to. I can swear to that. Please, allow Grand Maestro Mose to leave unharmed. They'll back down peacefully if you do. But... He's escaped. There's nothing we can do now. Fucking coward hiding behind his meat shields. Still, to think that so many replicas have been created. It must have been the result of Fomacry data Van left behind. There's no way they could have made replicas of the people of Hod without it. We can investigate this later. For now, let's escort Annis's parents to Doth. Annis, that's all right with you, I presume? Yes. Arietta, if you move around, your wounds will reopen. <coughs> you killed him! Annis, you killed Ion! And I just now realized their color schemes are supposed to be inverted. Hm. Please, wait. It's only because Moe's has taken us hostage. Papa, be quiet. Yeah, I did. Want to make something of it, Gloomietta? Ion helped me so much. This is beyond avenging Mommy, Annis. I'll avenge Ion, too. Annis, I challenge you to a duel. Shit. Oh, shit. Annis, what kind of deck do you use? Accepted. Annis! Dude, she probably uses evil swarms. Don't mess with her. I have to finally settle things with her. I'll send someone to tell you the time and place later. And I'll never forgive you if you run away. Oh, so this is a classy duel. Well, I'll be your second. Annis, a duel? This is foolishness. Can't you talk about this? I'm sure Arietta would understand. Mama, be quiet. But Annis... Shut up! Wait! Annis! Let's split up and look for her. Yeah. I mean, you could just follow her out the door, but okay. At least wait until you get to multiple rounds she could have taken before you decide to split up. Eh. Does mean we split up? Okay, we all split up. But, excuse me, I'll leave searching for Annis and the rest of you. Sometimes people want to be alone, and I'd like to leave her to herself personally. Besides, there's something I'm worried about than Annis. Yulia may in fact have truly read a score of destruction. If that's so, make a certain amount of sense. Well, someone's gotta be able to say it. Thank God he's on our side. They're not gonna make me come to the whole freaking cathedral, right? I did that just to find that... just to get that freaking chest that wouldn't let me open. Annis, where'd she go? I think I know how she feels. She's being crushed by the weight of what she's done. She's blaming herself for everything. If we leave her alone, it'll destroy her. We've got to go find her. Hmm. Ah, light bulb went on. I think I know where she's at. And it's the blame, and so am I. I may have agreed to read the planet score as Moe's ordered to, in order to clear the miasma from my body. Probably knows that. Oh, 
yeah, self-preservation is a thing. I feel so sorry for her. She had to choose between her parents and Ion. What have her parents ever done for her? No, she's not here, though this makes... Come on, this would be the first place to check. I guess they knew that, that's why they put Natalia here. So the only one we haven't bumped into is Guy. Probably outside, waiting to catch her if she tries to get out. Yeah, take me back. That's what I'd do if I was him. Oh no, it's up there. Any sign of her? Better cheer Annis up once we find her. I, I can't do it. I've gotten a lot better, but because of my little phobia, Annis will wind up worrying about me instead of herself. I might as well check the chapel. So, you were out here. Look, everyone's worried about you. Oliver and Pamela, too. Don't talk to me about them. Come on, Annis. You couldn't have done anything differently. He was holding your parents hostage. No! I was lying to Ion from the very start. Moe's ordered me to report everything Ion did. Yeah, she's probably more broken about that, dude. Trying to stop the war? Spending time with you guys? I reported it all. Annis, that's all... Listen! The attack on the Tartarus, the ambushes by the six god generals, it's all my fault! Wasn't that all because you were worried for your parents? You couldn't have slipped us a note? You know, that way you didn't have to say it aloud? I mean, it's not your fault oh, that we could gullible, catch on that Moses right? mysteriously one step ahead of us and knows everything we're doing. You gotta fight Sutterfuge with Sutterfuge, is what I'm saying. When I was really little, he got scammed for a ton of money and got deep into debt. Moe's bailed him out. Since then, my parents have worked for the cathedral without pay. I... I couldn't disobey his orders. I know. I hated it all along. Ion was so trusting, it really hurt to have to lie. Yeah. But I... I loved Mama and Papa. Annis, 
you did the right thing. It wasn't right. It wasn't right at all. I... I... I killed Ion! Poor Ion. It's all my fault. And now he's dead! Now notice what they've been doing here ever since Ion died. They've been keeping the camera off her face. I have to imagine they're doing that just because her facial expressions don't match the tone they want to go for. I've seen that done before. Annis. Here. Take this. I picked it up in Mount Zalejo. It's a fragment of the phone stone from the score Ion read. Wait, where did you pick that Ion's up? Ion's phone stone. What are you going to do now? Do you want to stay in Doth? No. I'm going with you. I think that Ion would have wanted to help you if he had lived. Thanks. Let's head back and see everyone then. It appears you've calmed down a bit. Yes, Colonel. I'd like to stay with you all and think about what I should do from here on. Stay strong, Annis. What should we do next? It would be hard to pursue the score further until the order has been restructured. And we don't have the first clue about where to search for Ash. I... I'd like to put Ion's final reading of the score to use. You mean that bit about finding out how to clear away the miasma in Belkin? Belkin, that's it. You're right. Ion sacrificed everything to give us that clue. I agree. That's all we have to go on at the moment. That said, we will have to deal with this issue eventually. We stopped Van's vision of a world where the score can't be read. But it's not as if we fully support the score either. Once things have settled down, we should hold a summit about what to do with the score. Yes, you're right. I believe now we can go back to Ion's room to get something. Ion, it's all my fault. I'm sorry. You only lived a few years. I should have... I should have died instead. about uh, Tyr having to pray for Iron, which would let her learn her next secret art. But none of the guys can check if they have her uh, complete at all. So I don't know. Let's just get to Belkin. score. Because Anissa's parents were being held hostage? Or he's quite intelligent. He knew he would try to rescue him, so he may have chosen his own death in order to remove the miasma from Tyr's body. Tyr knew that. I felt like it was a multi-purpose kind of thing. I think she knows. She's looked depressed ever since we got back, just like Anis. Ion... Why'd you go and throw your life away? Idiot. Luke, you're blaming the wrong person. It was Moe's who forced Ion to make that choice. Yeah, Moe's. You're gonna pay for this. So we rejected the score, but now we have to rely on the score Ion read to us? 
and said to treat the score as one possibility out of many. We aren't being forced to obey it. He wants it to be used for the future of the world. Not as an unbreakable rule, but as a guide in making decisions. Ion's score is always accurate. Luke, are you saying you don't trust it? Or you don't want to trust it? No, I'm not. I know it's accurate. That's why I'm following it. But... If this does succeed, you may be tempted to follow the score again in the future, right? How long can we go on saying just this once before becomes a habit? Oh, trust me, I know that. So you're going to ignore Ion's score? Please, you can't do that! I won't. I'm just frustrated with this gap between ideals and reality. Yeah, welcome to being a thinking individual, Luke. Here's your t-shirt. It sucks, but at least you have integrity. Ariada was truly a fine of Ion, wasn't she? As was Annis, but the two of them were thinking of different Ions. Ion was a replica, after all. The Ion that Ariada liked is long gone. How sad that those misunderstandings have led to a duel. Same thing could easily have happened with Luke and Ash. Italian tear. Huh. Yeah, it could have. I know it is my doing, but Formicry truly is an authentic technology. Hey, if the guy who created the shit tells you, yeah, don't do that, don't fucking do that. Right, we didn't actually get her. Oh, no, we didn't. I thought she had to walk away from the door, but I guess that's a joke. So do you think that the door does the movie I might have to grind in this off screen? For an optional fight, just because I want to get shot again. Dude having a Oh! Are you alright? Uh, I think you got hit by Miasma. Were we too late? Why has he. He's the third one today. What's going on? We've had several unexplained deaths these last few days. So it's not the Miasma? It seems like people are dying right after hearing the Order of Lorelei read the score. What? It's not an injury. Even the healers can't cure it. Maybe it's a disease? That's strange. Ion commanded the order to stop public readings. Well, they started back up just before this miasma stuff started appearing again. You noticed that? I mean, I know you're not supposed to assume things, but... At least the possibility of a connection should have entered your head. A traveling scorer arrived. I asked for a reading myself. Do you know where that scorer is now? Hmm. I think he headed off towards Batical. The deaths now? may be the result of extracting the replica data through Fomagree. Oh. explains it, but please explain it. What makes you say that? During our experiments, we observed that within a week of having their data extracted, some originals died or exhibited physical disorders. But the conditions of that man's death closely resembled those of the test subjects that didn't survive. 
If someone really is extracting replica data from people, we have to stop them. This world doesn't need any more cases of Ash and me. Let's talk to Spinoza and then find that traveling score. Spinoza, all right. So, do people die once they had their replica data extracted? In some cases, yes. Some originals die, but others don't. Now, that's why Ash is still here. Like Ash, for example, of course. Of course, what? Never mind. In any case, we cannot allow them to continue creating replicas. For the sake of both original and replica. Yeah, I agree. For now, let's see what could be done about the miasma. Spinoza may be able to tell us something. Yeah, Ash and Lorelei are just a big question mark at the moment. Let's at least take care of the miasma. Indeed, let's start with what we can handle. Yeah, that's the only thing we can do, after all. Do what you can. Please tell me Spinoza. I think Sp no, Spinoza's one of the scientists, right? Yeah, he's supposed to be that scummy one we don't like. I've been playing too many RPGs lately. I'm, I'm forgetting a lot of names and terminology. I should be better at this. Vance team had already left this facility. Nevertheless, Pharmacry of Living Things has been revived. Yeah, we've seen that replicas are being mass produced. When you people have a weakness for forbidden things. Orders, you've effectively made an army. Curiosity proves too compelling a temptation. The researchers couldn't resist, even knowing that the technology would be misused. And Van took advantage of those feelings. Well, we can't do much about the past. The question is what to do from here on. We still have a mountain of problems ahead. Yes. We'll have to resolve things one at a time. Phonogree. Replicas. Luke, what did I just say? Regretting the past won't accomplish anything. Yeah, I know, but... But... I...
We didn't find Spinoza. That was my concern. Wandering around this fucking laboratory a bit longer, don't die. No, oh, now it's you. Things have really gone from bad to worse here. Have the core's vibrations gotten too intense for the Tartars to suppress? Yes. At this rate, there will be nothing to prevent the Earth's liquefaction. The miasma, the liquefaction. The cliffhoth is going back to the way it was. And the passage rings have stopped working, so we can't form the dividing line anymore. I guess we should start thinking of ways to actually destroy the miasma. Precisely. How about using your hyper-resonance, Luke? But I thought hyper-resonance couldn't destroy the miasma. Hyper-resonance can break down matter to an atomic level. I'm no specialist, but it's possible in theory. Based on the hyper-resonance that destroyed Axarioth, they do seem to be quite powerful. By the way, from your greeting, I assume we're not your first visitors today? Ash came by to research the flow of seven phonons since the land was lowered. Ash? Ash was here? I want to suck his cock. Where did he go? He was staring intently at the Sephiroth measurements we'd taken here. That was the data from Mount Roneal. Shall we take a look? Yeah, we'll hit Batical after. For now, let's follow Ash. So we went to Mount Roneal. Here we were, plenty to deal with Ash later, but he pops up anyway. And it involves the score, so out come the god generals and moes. And we're still clueless about the key of Lorelei. And we still don't know how to take care of the miasma. What are we supposed to deal with first? For once, I can't blame you for getting flustered. It's probably because they're all closely interrelated. What do you mean, Colonel? They're all strongly bound together. The miasma, the seventh phonon, the replicas, the score, Lorelei. Ash is involved with every one of those. It's likely he holds the key to them all. That is a guess, is it not? Well, the colonel made a guess. I merely thought it would simplify deciding on our next destination. So we should just go after Ash instead of trying to figure everything out? Well, we were running out of options anyway. I mean, our only other lead is Batical. If we went right back to Batical, there isn't much we could do that would help. We are hardly in a condition to hold any sort of conference on the score. So right now, all we can do is follow Ash. Correct. Let's be efficient with it. We can't afford to waste time. Yes, let's head for Mount Rhino. We can't afford to waste time, but we can't afford to grind for a few hours if I feel like it. Yeah, screw you. Do what I want. Jade, about that idea of using a hyper resonance on the miasma. It was a ludicrous idea. Forget about it. But if it could really neutralize the miasma? Have you forgotten? You're a replica, unable to fully control your hyper-resonance. One wrong move, and you would die. Well, then maybe Ash could do it. If we see him on Mount Roneal. My apologies. I was unclear. It doesn't matter if it's the original or not. No one could cause a hyper-resonance strong enough to destroy all of the miasma on the planet. If he had something to amplify his powers, it might be a different story. Like what? You don't know when to give up, do you? Something that would reduce the strain on the body when manipulating hyper-resonance. You're stalling! Like what? The Sword of Lorelei, for one. One could gather a large amount of seventh phonons with that. And another? Any large quantity of seventh phonons. Let's see. Kill around 10,000 seventh phonists, or at least potential seventh phonists. Of course, the recoil from the hyper-resonance would cause phonon separation, killing the user as well. The miasma would disappear at the cost of 10,000 lives. A small price to some. 10,001. But that's... Impossible, obviously. Which is why I told you to forget it. Well, I mean, if it comes down to it, it's good that we have that solution in the back of our heads. I mean, it's not ideal, but... 
mean, I get it, you don't want to sacrifice anybody, but... Sacrifice is necessary to get shit done sometimes. But yeah, let's look for a more practical solution. No, oh, yeah, that's the snowy one, right? Are you still troubled? Jade. Everyone's worried about you. Wondering what could make you, of all people, think so hard. Is that really the only way to get rid of the miasma? Sacrificing 10,000 seventh bonus. This must be quite serious for you to ignore my jab. But Jade, that's the only 10,000 murders. You destroyed Exeruth, hurt the people of Shuri, and made yourself a lot of enemies. Are you willing to stain your hands with the blood of even more unknown masses? said that you couldn't do it. Tell me, Ion, what would you do?
Is Ash really out here? Things would be easier if I could just call out to him like he does to me. Nothing you can do about it. Let's start by checking the Sephiroth further on. Oh my, are you kids looking for the Jewel of Lorelei too? Eh, we haven't seen you guys in a while. I almost forgot you existed. Still say she should become a party member. How do you know about the Jewel of Lorelei? Because Ash never shuts up. Apparently you all failed to get the Jewel. Ash was awful mad. So is Ash here then? <laughs> You know, he drones on and on about Natalia this, Natalia that. And now you're droning on and on about Ash this, Ash that. 60% is Natalia, 30 is the replica, and the rest is Van. Add that all up, and you've got everything the boss ever talks about. I can totally imagine. Indeed. Anyway, that means that Ash is here, right? He's looking for the jewel inside. We were told to wait out here. Let's go after him. We'll get him on our side this time. I just know this is going to end in an argument. You enjoy sitting out in the cold? I'm gonna go inside. So, Ash did receive part of the key of Lorelei, after all, so it would seem. From what the Dark Wings said, Ash must have the Sword of Lorelei. He's looking for the jewel, so yeah, he presumably has the sword. Sword of Lorelei. Just now figuring out all this shit Lorelei had. Lorelei is used to condom, come on. My colonel, that was quite a sigh. My apologies. I'm not good at dealing with obtuse children. Did you do something to make Jade angry? He never gets like that. There's no need to ask. Of course he did. I guess nobody trusts me. Not that they're wrong, of course. I like how I'm not even sure what Luke is thinking. here managed to get out alive? Apparently so. Why would the Major be cooperating with Moe's? Their goals were completely opposite. They've already cooperated several times. Perhaps it suits their respective purposes. Or they may both simply be using one another. Sounds Moe's right. thinks the God Generals follow him, but the God Generals seem to have other ideas. What's this? 
1999, in commemoration of the birth of my daughter, Meryl. What is it, Luke? Find something? No, just some trash. Uh-huh. Some trash. In the snow. Where we know for a fact several people were caught in an avalanche. Okay, sure. Meryl, that was Natalia's real name, right? The birth year is the same, too. I'm sorry. We stopped because of all my chatter. Let's hurry onward. So then is one of the God Generals Meryl? Would be Loretta, wouldn't it? Or it's the father. Talia, you were born in the month of Rem 1999, weren't you? Yes, so, are you going to give me a present? Huh? The thing was, the last time she had a birthday, we were busy wandering around Malkuth. Oh yeah, just after Tyr and I were blown all the way over there. My, well, I'll be looking forward to a lovely present. I was just trying to check the date on the locket. Locket? N nothing, never mind. Come on, dude. You know that never convinces anybody. sign of the jewel here, either. Is that sword the key of Lorelei? You again! Ash, please tell us. Where is Lorelei being kept? Is Van still alive? You can contact Lorelei, right? You know where it is, don't you? No. I haven't heard Lorelei since the land was lowered. It won't respond to me, either. So it's no use, even to an original. In that case, would you at least tell us what you know? Please? From the start, Lorelei has wanted to be freed from the core. Lorelei contacted us because it thought staying in the core would harm the planet. That's what Lorelei was saying when it inhabited Tyr's body. So Lorelei is being held within the planet's core? No, not anymore. It disappeared from the core when you defeated Van. Then where? During our final contact, Lorelei said it had been trapped inside Van. So my brother is alive. But the Commandant was really hurt. How could he have possibly... I don't know, but Van's absorbed Lorelei into his body. The Seventh Phonon has the power to heal. I suppose Van was lucky. So freeing Lorelei means freeing it from within Van? That's right. Lorelei wants to leave Aldrin's gravity and become the seventh layer of the phone belt. I'm looking for the Jewel of Lorelei to help make that happen. This sword won't work as the key without the Jewel inlaid into it. Yeah, Lorelei said to use the key to free it. Just like in Yulia's legends, you imbue the key with the essence of Lorelei and guide it to the phone belt. But where is the jewel? It's your fault! If you had gotten the key from Lorelei, none of this would have happened. Me? It must have flown out through one of the Sephiroth. The God Generals are looking for it too. If those bastards get to the key first, we won't be able to set Lorelei free. If we can't free Lorelei, the planet storm will grow stronger to create more seventh phonons. Destroying the world. Exactly. Ash, wait up. Where are you going? The jewel wasn't here either. I'm looking somewhere else. Then we'll look with you. I have no intention of getting friendly with a replica. It's because I'm just a replica that I need your help. Do you really think you have any right to say that? Stop it. This is no time for the two of you to be arguing. I'm going on to the next Sephiroth. Is it a day ending in Y? Probably is. That's the only way I'll find the jewel you failed to receive. It's not like you gave us a note to find it, dude. You all do whatever you want. I suppose I could let you know if I find something. 
Let's leave the jewel to Ash and head on to Batical to look for that scorer, shall we? Fine. So once again, Ash and I go our separate ways. And we can't have two of the Why same does party members. end like this? Don't you realize? Huh? Never mind. guy. No, I was just thinking about Luke. What about Master? He still doesn't realize that he's part of the reason Ash gets so angry. Luke overdoes everything, doesn't he? Too arrogant, too excited, too depressed, too repentant. He's passionate. Yeah, he treated Mew pretty horribly, too. No, it wasn't. Master was just playing with me. It was fun. Stockholm Syndrome, man. That's not playing, Mew. You. you just can't... Master even gave me a name. It made me so happy. Yeah, I guess it's not a bad as name, is it? Thing. It's great. Do you suppose Mew's been infected by Luke? Now he's overdoing it, too. Yes. Poor thing. He's so easily fueled. He's just too optimistic. He's the best in everybody. Wish I could have that. I got the opposite. It sucks.
once with all the commotion. Hey, what happened? They arrested that criminal Mose and brought him in from Doth. Did they what? Now? But then he got away. They're closing off the perimeter and starting a citywide search. Then why was the front gate wide open? Which means that Mose is still somewhere within Baticle. All right, let's search for Mose too. Well, they close of all the exits. The only way out is through that factory. That bastard Mose. We're going to get him. Yeah, everyone. If you don't cool down, that filthy coward doesn't deserve to be called a holy anything. It's time to avenge Ion. Even tears lost her composure. Well, I do understand their feelings. But we need to remain calm, now more than ever, right? Exactly. Does Mose know about the factory? Remember we ran into someone in there, I can't remember if it was Mose though. I think it was one of the god generals, actually. Unless they told him about it. So where should we look? I run towards the air car. in a hurry, but doesn't he have any manners? What's the worst reason about this miasma? Saw a fat guy run here at full steam. What was that about? Not you. It's weird that it was the Grand Master that just ran by. He boarded that aircraft. And I was thinking this was the first thing I was going to check. Let's check the Try to commandeer a fishing boat or something. Ugh, I can't afford to be captured here with Eldrin almost arisen. I don't have time to die. I'm too much too busy. Stop, Mose! Turn yourself into the Order of Lorelei and face the consequences of your crimes. Please! Those who must atone for their crimes are you fools who would ignore the score! I am right! How can you not understand? Of course you are, Grand Maestro. Hmm, it's about time he came back. Ah, Dist! Dist, perhaps I ought to have left you permanently frozen. Y silence, you! You always break your promises! You never play fair! I can tell his voice actor was having fun in the booth. <laughs> now, Mose, let's leave this riffraff behind and proceed to Eldrant. Wait, Dist! The power of the Phone Master shall be mine, here and now! Perhaps the austere majesty of Eldrant would make a more fitting stage. I'll reveal my new might to these fools who have lost sight of how the world should be. In that case, by all means. <sighs> to Dist, the world what do you think? Be? That art! How the world should be, according to what? Your opinion? Silence! Mose has decided this for himself. You have no right to interfere. What the hell? Yeah, the more ordinary looking guys get turned into a creepy monster for a boss fight. It's just like my eyes. He's strengthening his phonic arts by inscribing a phonic glyph on himself to gather phonons. But that... That's the phonic glyph to gather the seventh phonon. But if that's inscribed on someone who can't use the seventh phonon, every phonon in their body would mutate. Thank you for explaining the science behind this. This! What have I become? Now I'd say it's a good look for you. Finally, your appearance finally matches your personality. Your body has simply taken a more suitable form to prevent your seventh phonons from going out of control. Like that little hedge which it has. Have no fear. Your powers are now truly those of a phone master. Oh, I can feel it surging within me. So this is the power of you, I'm heading straight to Elder from here. See that you follow shortly. If we're not gonna fight him now, come on. To think a human could become something so hideous. Like I said matches his personality. When the seventh phonon is implanted in one who cannot use it, his body rejects it, leading to madness. Mose desired the power of a phone master above all else. 
I'm sure he won't mind. Personally, I'm satisfied to perform experiments regardless of the subject. So that bastard Mose would become a monster to protect the score. Speaking of the score, where did that traveler giving illegal readings go? Perhaps he's moved on to a new city. We should report to the Order about him. And Moe's. That's fine, but who's in charge of the Order of Lorelei these days? I'm not sure. Perhaps it's Grandfather now. Nobody in Doth has any idea of what's going on. I say we talk to Teodoro. You're right. Ugh, what's going to happen to the Order? You should have known what would happen if someone tried to control the seventh phonon by force. But for someone to turn into that, how could that happen? That technology for bringing phonons into the body, I invented that as a child as well. Wow, you really do make everything. I wish I can go back in time and kill myself as a newborn. Ugh keep coming up with such troublesome things. That would suck. If you did that, Luke and Ion wouldn't even have been born. That's true. I suppose I can't change the past. Sorry, as long as we're in Batical, I'd like to go see His Majesty. Oh, you're right. Yes, let's go. Uh... Well, that didn't work. It's not like I can mention this locket in front of Natalia. But she said, yeah, we should go. Luke? We're leaving now. Or are you yeah. trying to get her alone? Okay. Satisfaction. The people of Batical feel honestly grateful to you. Isn't that proof enough? Even so. I mean, are you actually doing it for them, or are you doing it for them, for yourself? All actions begin with a desire for self-satisfaction. Yeah, see, so Jade gets it. Really? For example, suppose Natalia felt she wanted to work for the kingdom, ignoring personal gain. By acting on that thought, Natalia still satisfies her own desires. Yeah, see, this dude is based as I am. He gets well, it. Well, yeah, but Jade, that's missing People the point. People are full of shit. Indeed it is. I'm quibbling. But when something gains other support, it grows beyond mere self-satisfaction. If that's the case, you've got the support of everyone here in Batical. That's proof that you're not being selfish. No, there must be more that I can do. As a commoner in this position, I have a duty to think of the people's happiness. The people of this city have accepted me. I must fulfill their expectations. Natalia, you're amazing. Yes, but you can do things little by little. Do what you can, slowly but surely. <sighs> I guess royalty can't just sit around in pretty clothes, eating yummy food all the time. Yeah, I know that's how it looks like to commoners, but trust me, they work their asses off. 
Well, countries with royalty like that wind up falling apart. Do you have any idea how stressful it is to actually be a politician? Okay, I gotta wake up at this exact time. I gotta go kiss this guy's ass. I gotta chew this guy out for fucking this up. I gotta kiss this guy's ass. I gotta chew this... It, it's... You're walking around, you're talking to a lot of people. It is stressful as hell. Once she truly thinks of the people, how will she feel toward monarchy itself? I gotta sign this law, which will probably piss these people off. Did you say something? No, nothing at all. Oh, I was talking about politics. Something we shouldn't know about? Well, not exactly. <laughs> You're such a bad liar. Just tell her. Guy! Truth is, Natalia, he's got a letter of a personal nature from Emperor Peony. But why hide it? This is highly confidential. His Imperial Majesty is considering making you his bride. But we mince. <laughs> Me? But I've got Luke. And... Ash, too, I suppose. Oh, what to do? Oh, get all three of them. Get all your hope. Get every hole plugged. Natalia, you can't have both. No fair. <clears throat> anyway, he asked that the letter get to your father oh, like without you, you knowing. Do that, Anis. You would totally marry two guys who make getting their money. <laughs> now I understand. Very well. I'll be waiting here. Let's view the title. Your princess. <laughs> Thank you for understanding. Well, Luke, shall we? Huh? No, but I was going to go alone. Could probably tell him, at least. Now, now, don't be stubborn. Let's go. <laughs> then we're coming too! Right. Hold on. Guy Jade Annis Fine. Tear? I'm sorry, it just kind of happened. It's that locket you found on Mount Roniel, isn't it? Yeah, I guess you noticed. You were standing there staring at some locket you found looking like somebody just died. He's right. Sometimes one just can't help being curious. Yep. <laughs> just don't tell Natalia. What's going on, Luke? I don't see Natalia with you. Your Majesty, please take a look at this. This is... I don't know what Natalia looked like as a baby, so I thought maybe Your Majesty could... This is Natalia. I'm almost certain of it. Where did you find this? On Mount Roniel, at the spot where we and the God Generals were caught in that avalanche. I think I've seen that before. I could have sworn that Largo... Are you sure? Well, Largo is about the only possible candidate, but... I hear that Natalia's childhood wet nurse is away on leave. I hear she's now working for Aster in Casedonia. Try to speak with her. Yes, Your Majesty. Do you plan to tell Natalia? What would Your Majesty have us do? I don't know. Perhaps it would be best to tell her. But if it is indeed Largo... We'll report to Your Majesty again once we have a solid answer. Thank you. Luke, what's with all this Your Majesty business? It's unlike you. Just being professional. Well, I'm just a replica. Oh, don't be foolish. You're still a nephew to me. Yes, sir. This is quite a surprise. To think that Natalia could be Largo's daughter. Nothing is sure yet. But it will be so hard for her if it is true. 
So, are we going to Casedonia? Be careful. Natalia will catch on eventually. What about that score performing illicit readings? How about we tell her we heard the score was headed for Casedonia? Nice. Natalia should go along with that. But we're going to have to tell her sometime, right? She'll probably be really hurt. Yes. It's hard to face one's own blood as an enemy. Right. And Natalia in particular has a fragile side to her that makes me worry. All this heavy talk is really getting me down. Yeah, sure is depressing. Yeah. If all you look so gloomy when you go outside, Natalia will know something's up. Indeed, life has its ups and downs after all. But it's Largo. Then what about Tyr? Oh yeah, the Commandant is her brother, isn't he? Now is not the time for such thoughts. We need to be calm and rational. Yeah, after all, it's not us the truth will hurt the most. It's Natalia. But the truth hurts her, and it's gonna hurt you too. Wonder if it'll actually give us a decision to tell her or not. Welcome back. So, what did Father have to say? Oh, he talked about how you had Ash and all. Ash? So Father is thinking of Ash and me? But then you... Uh, no. I meant he said Ash or me. Either one. More importantly, we heard that traveling scorer has headed to Chesedonia. We're already going in that direction. Let's follow him. I see. Perhaps he'll move straight on to Malkuth from there. Perhaps we could delay our report to Teodoro until after Chesedonia then. Sure, of course. All right. Let's see what we find in Chesedonia. You're an amazing liar, Colonel. Your smile hasn't budged. Oh, I assure you, I'm crying on the inside, racked with guilt. Uh-huh. <laughs> I love these guys. I think Jade is officially my favorite party member now. Should probably play as him more. care for his move set. Tear actually leaned it for a second. 
Boo. Love is what girls always talk about. Conversation. Wait, did we come to the right place? I just want to double check. <laughs> I think Tyr would know all about how babies are made. It's just too flustered to discuss it. <laughs> yeah, what happened to the shops full of cool stuff? Our lie has become the truth. Hold it right there! The Order of Lorelei has called a halt to all score readings. That score is a fake! That hurts, Anis. From now it's on, sink. it won't be the old Order of Lorelei reading the score. The score will be read by the new Order of Lorelei and its glorious leader, Phone Master Mose. Who they were trying to arrest in Batical. I'm pretty sure what you're doing is profoundly fucking illegal and everybody knows it. Ion! No, you're. Sink, so you survived too? I'd say that figures. <sighs> there go our last hopes for at least one casualty among the god generals. I imagine it's true then that Van survived and assimilated Lorelei within himself. If you know that much, shouldn't you be looking for the jewel a little harder? You all haven't found it yet either. If no one finds it, we keep the upper hand. Brazen as ever, I see. Sink, what's this new order of Lorelei? What do you mean by Phone Master Mose? Didn't Mose tell you, our darling little traitor? I wasn't working for him because I wanted to. Easy. I'm not carrying that deadweight Mose around for kicks, either. Now, as I was saying before that interruption, all who want score readings, follow me. Stop right there! We want to know the score! Yeah, he's right! But... Annis, please let me go. You of all people should understand. Ion... <laughs> Don't forget, fighting with me means fighting with Ion. It's not the same Ion, though. That bastard! How cruel! Annis, you can't let it get to you. Sink and Ion are completely different people. She's right. Just like Luke and Ash are different people. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm not letting it bother me. I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine! Annis, don't push yourself too hard. I'm not pushing anything. Natalia, would you take Annis to the bazaar or somewhere to cheer her up a bit? The rest of us will go speak to Aster to alert him of the traveling scorer. Certainly. Annis, let's take a walk. Damn, you're good, Jade. Yes, but Annis looked angry at being used as the bait. Jade will take responsibility for that later. But she was really depressed. Let's set aside responsibility for the moment and go see Aster.
I see. We'll pay careful attention to any and all scorers coming through the area. Please do. With that out of the way, my he's got a hookah on his desk, man. That's pimp. You'd like to speak with Natalia's nanny, correct? And <laughs> I'll call for her. Goodness, if it isn't Master Luke. There's something I'd like to show you. This was Bodox. Bodox? Meryl's father. He was Sylvia's. My son-in-law. Could you tell us a little bit about him? Bardock used to work as a guard for a caravan that traveled across the desert. His closest friends used to call him the Lion of the Desert. He was a big man with a big heart. Lion of the Desert. The Black Lion. His large stature. Mm -hmm. There's little doubt. So where's this Bardock person now? I'm afraid I haven't seen him since my daughter Sylvia passed away. Thank you very much. That's more than enough. If there's anything else I can do for you, don't hesitate to come by again. <laughs> really something you want to laugh about, dude. Well, we got confirmation. Guess we just gotta figure out how to break the news. Oh wow, they actually took the barrier down off to go to the frickin' bar every time. Actually, I think they put up one of the doors. Uh, it looks like they boarded it up. Okay. Oh my, that was fast. Did you pass along a warning to Aster? Yeah, more or less. Luke, I want a full report later. I know, I'm sorry. You're weird. Why should you apologize and not the Colonel? Phew, I appreciate it, Luke. What's all this about? Oh, uh, <laughs> nothing. Really? Well, in any case, this new order of Lorelei business is worrisome. Let's go talk with Grandfather. Which means Yulia City, right? Nice! I love that town. Oh, really? Why? Phone machines. Phone machines. Ugh. There's no need to react like that. Anyway, let's get moving. They need to get J Johnny Young Bosch to voice a tech priest in Warhammer. It would be so appropriate. <laughs> I can see that guy trying to stick his dick in a toaster, could you? This does present a problem. You mean the new order of Lorelei? People will turn to the order that reads the score. And they're giving readings. Damn it. Such is the result of using the score as a basis for politics. We haven't... Well, perhaps we have overemphasized it somewhat. Now said something about Moe's being the phone master. Moe's was obsessed with the score, so I can see him going along, but the god generals? Indeed, their ideals are in complete opposition. Perhaps Moe's is simply being used. But for what? Chip away at the Order's military strength and provide a base to build their power until Van returns. That seems the most likely reason. What an idiot. Let himself be used, be turned into a monster like that, all for the score? Mose. All he ever wanted was the prosperity of humanity.
really want to be Ash's substitute either. I don't think. So how can he play Ion so easily? He may think of replicas differently than you or Ion. I can't understand him. I wish I could ask him about it. If he would listen. First order of business is to restore the order of Lorelei. Leave the order to me. I'll pull something together centered around Tritime. To think that Mose, a paragon of what a watcher should be, should come to this. It is truly a shame. Grandfather, Mose mentioned an Eldrant. Do you have any idea what he meant? Well, the planet's called Aldrant, right? The only Eldrant I know is the name of the glorious land of ancient Espanian legend. I'm afraid I don't know much about Eldrant, but something odd has come up. Okay, so the ancient land was called Eldrant, this world is called Aldrant. I mean, you guys should know your own mythology better than I do, right? Something odd? There is an overall decline in Seventh Phonons, but there are spots at which they're being expended at an astonishing rate. Where? One is an undersea location near the 6th Sephiroth, but an investigation team found nothing. We're currently in pursuit of a second site now. Pursuit? How can one pursue a stationary location? There's no other way to put it. For whatever reason, its position keeps changing. Could it be some mobile facility? A ship or a carriage? Or it could just be a red herring to throw you off and waste your time. I don't know. But it would take much more than a ship to expend this many seven phonons. Is there no pattern to the movement? That's currently being looked into. We do know that it's traveling around the ocean. A giant object traveling the ocean, huh? Hmm. The only peacetime application of that many seventh phonons would be Fomacry. This is most disturbing. A mobile Fomacry lab on the sea? That sounds like something Dis would be up to. If you think so, Jade, then it probably is a facility for Fomacry. Let's search the ocean as thoroughly as possible. Something big moving in the sea. Something big moving in the sea. Like a huge narwhal? Even the larger them only reach around 30 meters. Rather small for something giant moving through the sea, you know? Now we're talking about something that's at least island sized. Baby narwhals are so cute. But they attack people when they get bigger. They are mon they are monsters, you know. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that. Could it be a battleship? I've heard of very large such ships in recent years. Yeah, I don't think there are many ships in the thousand meter class. Whatever it is, if it's that large, we should be able to find it just by watching the sea. 
I get so sleepy watching the water. Oh well. Yeah. Love how in Details Universe all wildlife is a monster. A cat and a dog is technically a monster. They wanted to make them enemies. I mean, they make a difference, but like, okay. Yeah, a cat, a dog, a rat pig, those are animals, okay? But wolves and bears and narwhals and regular fucking starfish, those are monsters because they attack you. Hey, fair enough. Is that island moving? A floating island? That's physically impossible. That island? I feel like I've seen it before. Shall we land and take a look? We may find some clue down there. It just might be the facility consuming seventh phonons that Grandfather was talking about. I'm sure I've seen this place before. Is this the Isle of Ferris? It was crushed in the tidal wave after the destruction of Hod. Yes, yes. I was gonna say that. it's the island across from Hod. The Isle of Ferris? It's an island from the Hod archipelago. It had a lot of trade back when Hod still existed. But even hit by a tidal wave, how could solid land become a floating island? Oh, yes, like I can't else. imagine it's a natural phenomenon. Which means there's some trick to it. Let's keep looking. I've got a bad feeling about this. Keep your eyes open.
just want to go under that. Okay, never mind. There's enemies. Fire! So do I just have to fight him or do I have to solve a puzzle? I prefer to do the latter. These puzzles are awesome. Okay. We'll just kill him and move. This looks like fun. <laughs> Destroy the town completely? The power of water is frightening. I can't swim. I hope a tidal wave doesn't come again. What, you can't swim with those big floppy ears? Don't worry, we're safe. We have the Albior anyway. Doesn't look like much of a Ferris population could have survived. The collapse of Hods affected so many other places. Axerioth, too. Mew.
I'll do whatever it takes. There's a moon attached anymore, but I do like it as a moon.
Let's see the door in this other building we get into. Let's try the other side. here all look similar. Now that you mention it, they do. Guy, how come they're all like this? Hmm, well, I don't know the details, but I heard that a single architect planned the whole town. They named the island after him. Hmm. So the architect was named Ferris? Yeah, apparently the emperor of the time was struck by the uniform beauty of the town. And the architecture of Grand Kokma was influenced by Ferris's style as well. I see, I see. What do you mean, I see? You know more about it than I do. Not at all. I quite dislike giving explanations. Liar. You've been explaining things all this time. That's why I dislike it. 
especially explaining general knowledge. I'd rather leave that to others. It's quite exhausting. Goodness. Simple explanations aren't that tiring, are they? I am getting on in my years, after all. Right. Sure you are. So this would be a good place to stop for the time. I think we can get going. I am interested to see what's going on here. Upstairs, then. Found magic lens, thank you. It was locked. This guy's a whip. The features are guarding them.
here, then why are you guarding it? Fuck you. Throwing me off like that. me once I do open the bridge. Figures. What is it, Luke? 
Oh, I was just thinking. It must have been a beautiful town. Yeah, I don't remember much, but there was a big port and the town was always lively. Yeah? The collapse of Hod, the tidal wave. Most of the people probably died without even knowing what had happened. It may have been easier on them that way. Relatively speaking, of course. It must have been horrible for the survivors as well. Nothing would have grown. And all of them were just innocent bystanders. An innocent island. Washed away and forgotten. An innocent island indeed. Arietta. What does she have to do with this? Or is she from Hot? I can't remember they established that. Makes a big deal about them killing her mother. I thought she was talking about that blanker. Wasn't there a chance I could have sworn I was seeing one in the distance? Oh no, it's just this box and it was telling me off. Eh. Well, it made me want to come here, so it's seated. This looks like a very important walkway. look alike. It's hard to know exactly where we are. What? It's easy. We came from the right, over there, so now we just need to head to the left. No, Luke, we just came from the left. Huh? Look, if a monster loses its homing instinct, then it's nothing but a domesticated animal. A pet. Hey, who are you calling a monster? What's this point? What's this about pets? Jade's the one who summons pet out. Anyway, guy, did I just hear you say something? Oh, no, not at all. I was just thinking about how the names Emperor Peony gave, gave to his rat pigs. Oop. <laughs> no, it's actually right. If you go into his castle, you can find him full of rat pigs. So I guess he named one after Jade. That's hilarious. I think I just saw the god generals. 
There's someone here. That voice. Annis! This is my special place. You can't just come barging in. You're not welcome here, Annis. Ferris is your special place? What do you mean? This... This is where I was born. My family all died in the flood. Mommy Liger saved me. I was so lonely, but Van came one day and invited me to join him. Okay, that explains a bit, actually. He stopped Ferris from sinking and made it into my own private ship. Van and the others have visited several times. They said they'd make this our base. So this was my brother's headquarters. And most likely a facility for Fomacry. If you're talking about a replica machine, then yes, we have one. We need it. After all, Van promised he would recreate my whole city. That's nothing but an illusion. Replicas aren't your family or even a replacement. No, you're wrong. Look at Luke. He's a replacement for Ash. Ion understood me. He even helped Van. She doesn't know he's a replicate. That's so tragic. The only reason Ion changed was because Annis took over as phone master guardian. You're wrong. Master Van has tricked you. Luke, be quiet. But you betrayed him, Annis. What, are you saying you want that duel here and now? My mediator Largo will decide the place. You can wait to hear from him. I fought for Ion and for Van, but now Ion is gone. I'm going to get revenge. I won't lose. What a fool. She doesn't even realize she's being used. So wait. So the Liger found her. She decided it was her mommy. That's how she became a beast tamer, I get basically. And for some reason, she just had the Ligers attacking the Cheekles. Did that play into Van's plans at all? Well, I guess it kind of did. I need to reread the synopsis. This is confusing me. If what Arietta said is true, then we can assume that this is one of Van's facilities. Yes. Let's keep looking. Is that all right, Annis? Yeah. Now, well, either that's one last part to the dungeon, or we're gonna walk right to the side and find answers, and then find out something else, and then fight a boss. I don't know. I think that's actually a good place to leave it for tonight, then. I mean, I just say, but go ahead and save here. Yeah. Alright. So, can't promise I'm gonna stream tomorrow. If I do, it'll be Dark Club 2. And if it's not tomorrow, it'll be on Thursday. Things are a little bit sporadic right now, because I'm trying to reorganize a bunch of stuff. I'm trying to reschedule. And, yeah. But, you know, the usual deal. Follow me on Twitter, check out YouTube if you're watching this on Twitch, check this on Twitch if you're, check out Twitch if you're watching this on YouTube, blah 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 blah. Enable me to make me playing video games on the internet for strangers. Safety and peace out.